If we stop thinking just for a moment, boom, there it is, the nature of your own mind. If you stop thinking just for a moment, boom, there it is, the nature of your own mind. Complete relaxation, incomplete relaxation. Stop thinking for a moment, incomplete relaxation. No, no effort needed, nothing to do, nothing to change. Allow yourself to be as you are. Immediate benefit, immediate openness. Rock solid stability, indestructibility. Your inexhaustible mind is obvious. So just to introduce ourselves for a moment, to stop thinking for a moment. That's a very powerful statement to rest with even if it's not clear for you. Then boom, there it is, the nature of your own mind, like we had in the video of Candice. Then we allow ourselves to be as we are. And of course, everything is coming back, our thoughts and emotions immediately slips in. But that's the nature of your own mind too. That's open intelligence too. Whether you're thinking a lot, thinking less, not thinking at all. Busy mind, restful mind, no thoughts, many thoughts, open intelligence, equally present. Equally present. And the mind, in its basic, is always relaxed, always at ease, always potent and beneficial, regardless of the appearances. Regardless of what we're thinking, what we're feeling now or tomorrow, you know, whatever it is, we can allow ourselves to be as we are. We can allow each perception to flow on by, like a flight path of a bird in the sky. It doesn't leave any place. The sky remains blue, the bird in the sky flying like that. So that's the nature of our mind. Everything is arising and subsuming in open intelligence. Arising and disappearing in open intelligence. Look at your own experience, test it for yourself. In, in the Balanced View training, we, we share the practice of, of short moments of open intelligence repeatedly until it becomes continuous. And it becomes continuous because it's the nature of our mind. The, these short moments of complete relaxation, of allowing everything to be as it is, not pushing away anything, not avoiding our thoughts and emotions anymore, not replacing our thoughts and emotions, not indulging in stories, not going to blame victimhood. Again, indestructibility taking responsibility. It's not about watching your data streams anymore. Not looking at your mind, what appears in your mind, and just being so bold about it. It's about being alive, fully alive, fully alive in every moment. You know, allowing everything to be as it is and being of benefit, not stopping and trying to examine yourself. So you see the ease of being, the spontaneous ease of being, spontaneous wisdom in every single moment of allowing yourself to be as you are, getting comfortable in your own skin, in your own mind, everyday life, everyday life, that's what we are interested at. Not some kind of state to get to, destination to reach and stop there, being of benefit to all. And the flow of the benefit of all is inexhaustible. It's always giving, always providing, always loving, always open-hearted. That's, that's, when I came to the training, that's what I felt from the first meeting. I came just open like you. I listened to talks and I, I just felt how natural it is to be here and how natural it is to be myself. The need to change myself just dropped along the way by showing up, by listening to talks and taking short moments of complete relaxation, resting the mind. You know, resting the mind just like that. It's, it's possible for all of us. Rest the mind, whether it stands or loose. Rest the mind just like that. 
And that's what I felt, just the effort to think about things, to understand, to micromanage, to indulge, to replace, to avoid my emotions, my data streams. Data streams, it's everything we perceive. That's why we call it here in the Balanced Future Training, to reduce it to simplicity, open intelligence and data streams. People, places, thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, everything we call data. So it's, it was really so empowering for me to come to a space where I can just allow myself to be as I am and to gain confidence in that way. You know, all these disturbing emotions that I used to have, you know, even disturbing positivity, I must say, always trying to be positive, that was disturbing. <laughs> You know, that was full of effort because it was contrived. It wasn't natural. It wasn't without effort. I tried my best. There is nothing wrong about that. But in complete relaxation, in allowing everything to be as it is, negative, positive, neutral, then there is the full potency, the full extent of potency and power without compromising facing everything fully, seeing everything as it is, and being of benefit to all. So what the responsibility we have, that's amazing. As human beings, we have this mind that can be of benefit to all, this body that can be of benefit to all. We just ignore that for a while. I don't know why we did that. Look at us now. You know, we are a global community, global, all over the world, not just here. You can visit in every country, you have the Balanced Future Training. You have the four mainstays support to introduce you to the nature of your mind. And I am so on fire of that because I'm, I just see the results in my own experience. I see in my family, with my intimate partner, with my friends, I see the results of benefit shining everywhere everywhere, in everyone, not only in me. You know, not anymore thinking that I'm special and I know it all. In everyone, shining equally and evenly. You know, the definition that of compassion, of openness, of love, of open-heartedness, of humility, all of that just opened that up totally with instinctive recognition of open intelligence, where I can totally understand what it means now. What is the meaning of being alive? What is the meaning of having a mind? What is the meaning of being of benefit? No more concepts and ideas about what it means in your direct experience. Facing everything as it is, being afflicted or not, equally capable to be of benefit to all. That's what I see in myself. When I'm so negative, it doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter what I think anymore. That was not obvious from the beginning. <laughs> so it's fine to take our own time to be supported here. And you're completely welcome to test it. We have every Saturday. Today we have a one day introductory training just to see, to get to know the language of the training. What is open intelligence? What is a short moment of open intelligence? What is our own direct experience? What it means to rely on the power of open intelligence? So you're most welcome to test it also now, every moment, just like that. So the value of this training for me is just immense. It's priceless. It's like, it's everything I wished for in my life. Every day I'm just so grateful to this gift, this gift of, of humanity, of the evolution that we have now in society. Everything is shifting for the benefit of all, finally. You know, it's, it's been a while. We, we've been blaming ourselves and our leaders, and we've been a victim of our data streams, of our thoughts and emotions, of people, places, and things. We've been lost in stories and everything, just completely vague, unclear. victims, not anymore victims, empowering our mind with open intelligence, with vast open intelligence, with the heart of the benefit of all, with this open heart that we have. It's, it's just so natural for us to be of benefit, so why not to do that, why not to focus on that? 
So the four mainstays, the short moments of open intelligence, whenever we remember to do so, during the day we, we take a short moment of allowing our mind to be as it is, to let it think what it wants to think. <laughs> and our feelings, our body, everything as it is, uncontrived, short moments of open intelligence. And when we forget to take short moments, that's also fine. You see? So that's the easeful way of being where we just allow ourselves to recognize over and over again until it becomes continuous, where you don't think about when it will become continuous because everything is just so amazing, really, and so empowered in every moment. You have such an opportunity to contribute to yourself, to your loved ones, to people around you, even in the most disturbing situations like you shared about accidents and unexpected situations where you have to immediately be responsive and of benefit. And that's exactly what we speak about here. You know, just being completely responsive to the needs of everyone, seeing what will serve best. When you're not lost in the thoughts and emotions about anger and hatred, Right? You're just available to contribute, to be of benefit. You understand deeply what the person is going through. And you let things settle and you're at rest. But you're very powerful. Powerful to contribute, to use your mind and practicalities, your knowledge that is so available when you're not collapsing into your thoughts and emotions, just to be completely available to people. And that's what I saw many times in myself you know, in situations, and of course here as well when it happens sometimes. And then just saying, I see no one as a stranger anymore. I understand deeply what people are going through. Because I've been through that myself, and I know that how it will feel like if I, I will experience the same. I know how it will feel like. So it's not about being passive and not doing anything. It's exactly the opposite. It's like finally doing something that it's of benefit to all, <laughs> that it's really immediately beneficial, immediately contributing. So whatever is coming up now, you know, all these emotions, just allow them to be as it is. The anger, the frustration, the irritation, annoyance, shame, guilt, regret those very powerful emotions and thoughts and everything is just full, full of like juicy beneficial potency. It's like this is where you look, this is what you're looking for. Is to feel it as it is, to allow it to be as it is and to be of benefit to all. You see, take responsibility for your data streams, not acting on your data streams, you know, feeling angry, feeling shameful, feeling afraid, and just not recognizing open intelligence, not seeing your beneficial power. Ignoring, actually completely ignoring your beneficial power. But once you hear, the first time here about open intelligence, you cannot forget how powerful you are. Even if everything is screaming that you're not, you just know deeply in your heart that you have the power to be of benefit to all. You see, that's the conviction, the assurance that I gain through this training, where I can allow myself to just be completely as I am. You know, even in training when I fell asleep, you know, I was just completely relaxed. <laughs> you know, just allowing that to be as it is and with, um, closing my eyes and be completely awake and clear. And everything is evoking open intelligence. That's why it's so powerful to be in trainings because we just allow our mind to be at complete rest. It's like we try to understand, but the four mainstays, they don't let us to do that anymore. <clears throat> they don't let us do that anymore. It's like exactly where you are, that's the confirmation of open intelligence. That's the humility. That's the humility to be open to be contributed to by others. That's very fine to do. Pride and arrogance outshone by open intelligence for the benefit of all. 
if you want to keep isolating yourself with data, you're most welcome to, but here in, 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 in this space, we, we just see you as you are. We see you open as you are. We welcome you as you are.